Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be showing you how to use ChatGPT for keyword research. This might be a use case that you're not familiar with and I hope it can really help you out. It's very easy to do. So first and foremost, what I want to do is just paste this in here. I copied it previously. I said, I need help with keyword research. Give me as many keywords as you can related to ClickBank, okay? So I said, give me as many and I tested this out previously and it just kept going and going. So I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to cut it so we don't have to wait for them to load and let's see what we get. Okay, it actually didn't take too long. So let's go back up. So as you can see, I'm not going to go through all of them, but like affiliate products, marketplace sales, success stories. Let's do give me even more keywords. All right, and if I scroll up a little, you'll see we have even more. You can see what we had before, added some more. I'm not sure if all these are going to be, you know, uh, completely unique or completely different. It looks like they are. Obviously, you might have some overlap. So that's just an example of it. Let's go back to a new chat and let's talk a little bit more about how maybe you can find more broad keywords. So one second. All right. So with this one, I said, give me long tail keywords related to affiliate marketing. Let's test this out and see if they're actually long tail keywords to begin with. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would categorize those as long tail keywords. I usually see them as like being even longer than that. Usually long tail keywords, in my opinion, some of the best ones have very little traffic, but the traffic that they do get convert very well because they're usually so specific and people usually don't create either videos or articles based upon these really long keywords. So let's generate some more. All right, and as expected, I refreshed it and the uh, the demand is very high. Usually when that happens, it, it pauses and it doesn't work. So so what I want to do now is just going to do a different example of something with that's a little bit more broad. All right, so give me keyword ideas that are related to internet marketing. Pretty simple. Let's hit enter and see what we get. All right, so we went broad and broad is exactly what we got, like SEO, PPC, not exactly a great keyword. How about this though? Let's take social media marketing. Give me. All right, so we have give me social media marketing keyword ideas. Let's run this. Okay, a little bit more niche down, but I think we can do better. All right, so what I did is copy my original, uh, I guess, uh, prompt. You could say I need help with keyword research. Give me as many keywords as you can related to, and I'm just going to do Twitter marketing. And I'm going to copy this, and I'm just going to open up in a new chat, paste it here, and that'll be my last example. Okay. And this is the first time where we actually got a bunch of commas instead of being like bullet point form. So overall, as we've learned, I think you just need to be more specific and don't be afraid of like, you know, asking it more questions. Say if you go for keyword research, like, you know, be a little bit more specific. Give me more examples when it comes to Twitter marketing instead of just being internet marketing where you got like PPC, SEO, video marketing, some of like the most broad keywords. You can really niche it down more if you want. For example, like when I first started off with ClickBank, we got some pretty good keywords there. Anyway, this is just simply another tool if you want to use it for that, you know, in terms of keyword research, if you want, play around with it, mess around with it, see if you get some new ideas in terms of keywords that you can utilize for creating new articles or even YouTube videos. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. Hope you got some value out of this video. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you in my next one.